Well, that's weird. That's a way to start off the day. Well, welcome to my channel, Driver Ryan. Today we're back, well, not there yet, but we're going to Lime Rock Park. This is the first time I'll be on track after an alignment. So, pretty excited to get it back on track. It uh, feels way better, so let's just get there. That, that was super weird. All right, so the point of this video is to go over ideal alignment settings for a dual duty car. Dual duty meaning like you drive it on the street most days, maybe you drive it aggressively on the street. But you also take it to the racetrack. These are good basic alignment settings. I want to give a quick thank you to Eric who did the alignment on the Miata. I came to him with alignment settings that I had in mind and that I got. You know, I had some ideas from my buddy Matt who... Uh, does a lot of the same kind of driving that I do. This is great. I seriously think I can drive this car. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, oh yeah, keep it going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I also went to 949 Racing or Super Miata, I think they're the same thing, dot com. And I got, I printed out a bunch of recommended settings for Miatas. They have a whole write-up on it, so I'm not going to pretend like I made this all up because I didn't. So go check them out. I will put their link below or right here in the video. Okay, so also thank you, Alex. Alex Vittori at Modified Machines. He's the one that sets up these track days. So go check out his Facebook page, Modified Machines and Modified Machines Motorsports. And check out his website, ModifiedMachines.com. Sign yourself up for a track day. Work on your driving and explore the limits of yourself and your car. Okay, I'm gonna plop on the screen right now the before measurements, pre alignment. Yeah, they weren't good, so if you wanna pause it and look at it, you can. But I wouldn't look at it too hard because they're not right. I had more camber in the rear than the front, which is pretty much every Hot Boys wet dream, but it's, it's not this Hot Boys wet dream. So I'm gonna cut right to the after measurements because this is what I feel and what I've talked to quite a few people and you know 949 racing obviously they feel that these are ideal alignment settings for a dual duty street and track car so we got it to negative 2.6 degrees camber in the front with a little bit less in the rear negative 2.3 degrees in the left rear and negative 2.1 in the right rear I'd call that pretty close the toe in the front is at zero degrees um, toe in the rear is at 0 0.05 degrees and the caster were right at 5.8 5.7 degrees so everything is pretty much spot on so a few people asked me what my pinch weld height is set at and I was trying to get this pretty close to my garage but my garage isn't perfectly level so it was a little bit tough on the alignment rack we set it to 4.5 inches Super Miata recommends between 4.5 and 5.25 inches for the dual duty settings. And for the race alignment, they recommend between 4.25 and 4.75 inches. So I don't know, I think 4.5 is a pretty good, pretty good ride height. I like where it sits right now. So without further ado, let's dive into the track footage, see how it does.
thank you all for watching. That was just raw footage of the Miata on track post alignment. And um, is an alignment worth it? Yes, absolutely. It, it drives like a completely different car. And when you get into a drift, it's pretty easy to handle. You know, I have my good days and I have my bad days, but it's pretty graceful at the limit. And uh, that's really what it's all about. A nice, safe, fun, responsive, tight street and track car. That's what I'm going for here. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, comment on YouTube or slide in my DMs on Instagram at Drive It Ryan. That's it. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. And really, man, the focus is just leveling up. Cause I know the life I want. I'm just setting it up. Removing those that's close who try messing it up. Can't wait for champagne toast with the relevant bunch. Like, what's up? Yeah. Uh. Like, what you do, homie? What's your vision? How you thinking? How you move, homie?